Alright, so about to jack up the car. If you have an old BMW, you're going to want one of these little rubber tools to jack it up. Just so that you don't damage your frame. Or the jack. All right, so first step, there's a little bolt that needs to be taken out with an Allen key. Okay, so Lawrence seems to have found the right key. The best one we have. Yep, and now you're just gonna and try it's and- left a loosey righty tight. This seems like you're, there we go. Good job, Lawrence. And don't worry about it, just, yeah. you won't drop this. You got this stuff, you're a professional. You've been working on BMW since you were a little kid. Little kid. You grew up in the back seat of a BMW. Grew up in a BMW. I was born in And here we go, look at how you drew. Lawrence is already knocking this job out pretty easy. Did you keep it? Nice, buddy. Look at how ugly that is. It's pretty dark, it's pretty sludgy. Oh my gosh. This is the oil or the transmission? Where's the oil right here? Is the oil, right? That's the oil. Yeah, that's the oil right there. Right? Yeah, no, it's dark for the transmission, bro. It should not look like that. Mm, it's dark as well. But the thing is, I added, it was empty, and then yeah, I added. Oh, it's so dude, it doesn't matter, dog. Like, I've done that too. With the uh, four tons opposite. That's supposed to be red right now. Yeah, well, clearer, but. So you can't really see on camera very good, but look like this looks like oil. This looks like, I mean, when he said, is this the oil pan, I almost didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna give it a little bit of time to finish draining. Then Lawrence will be right back with you to finish off the job. So right now Lawrence is just removing these six bolts, 10 millimeter, right? Oh uh, yes sir. How many was it, six so far? The only thing that we noticed different was this line right here that's coming into the uh, transmission. So it's just extra, extra transmission line that I wasn't e expecting. So we'll just have to pop that sucker off uh, in order to fully drop the pan. You already got a bolt right there? Nice. Little rectangle Keep track, that one in. you just pulled in your hand, right? Yeah. So that one is, that one is this side in the middle. Okay, in the middle, and then where's this yeah, one? That one right there is in the middle. I took off the middle one. No, yeah, but that one's over there. Like, that one's on that side, and that one's on the other. Yep, oh, okay. they're middles. So they're going in. They're clamping into the, the actual, do you see, like, the the edge of the uh, pan? Yeah. They're, oh, they're yeah. That in, you know. I see what you're talking about. So, so the screws have these extra little clamps around the screw. And what you're going to want is to make sure that you stick them into your actual oil. So here's an example of one right there. And the clamp will actually hold the uh, pen together. So let me get you up. So we're going to right now just get this line disconnected and then we'll drop the pan. No matter where I go, everybody say I'm hot. I'm saying I'm cold. Hate when niggas leave the city and switch up their reps on a real homie. I don't get down like that. I'ma milk the game so we all can eat. Now the chocolate factory is what I bump on my cheek. So Alright, so Lawrence is about to drop the transmission filter. It takes three hex bolts. Oh, it has three hex bolts in there. Oh no, no. It's gonna strip. I don't think it will. Nope. Yeah, that's tight. 
There it is. <laughs> so when this comes out, a little bit more transmission fluid might fall, so just be careful with your eyes and stuff. Yep. You want me to... <laughs> oh, damn, it's not full. Where is it? I can't find it. But, uh, so this long bolt with it has one washer on it goes into the middle of the transmission filter. This is the middle of the transmission filter. And where is that one? The far right corner of the transmission filter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems to be shorter. Nope. Not shorter. Sure. Not shorter. So I guess it doesn't really matter if we mix them Ooh, up. Oh, snaps! Whoa. Luckily I told you to keep the pan there. Now I'm just doing so now we're removing the last bolt in here, and this one is the front left corner, so the passenger side bolt. The filter's already starting to fall. Nice. So Lawrence is kind of just tilting it, letting it drip before he releases the last screw, so he doesn't spill any of that stuff on himself. Or in the environment. Yep. So just one more bolt to go. We're letting the rest of this drip out. And the filter will be able to be removed. There'll be some O-rings that we'll want to replace. And then we'll just pop in the new filter and add the bolts on. We don't have fluid right now, so we're not gonna add fluid. But if this is your first time watching our channel, make sure you click like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing, if you've tuned in this long. We have a total of six BMWs that we are working on, which include an E21, an E28, an E30, an E34 Touring, a E82, something fell in there, yep. an E82, and an X1. I think that's an E84. This is the top left. Let's just let it keep dripping. Let's get out from under here, and then we'll pull the pan after it finishes dripping, because this is going to take a while. So one thing you're going to want to do is add the new O-ring to your transmission filter before you put it into place. And it'll also come with a new uh, gasket for the actual transmission pan. So Lawrence is about to first start screwing the transmission filter back into place. And then we will put the pan back in there. We also cleaned the pan down. We didn't show that footage. First screw is right. Which side are you gonna work on? The top right right here? Yeah. Okay, so here's your top right. Alright, so the last step is to add the transmission fluid. So I'm just gonna pop the hood and get that done. At this point, the car takes about 3.2 quarts, I believe. So, I will initially just check the dipstick so that I can dry it off and make sure that it is completely dry. Um, and then I will just start adding fluid to the dipstick. Here's the handy dandy filter. Here's number two.
Lawrence couldn't make it for this job, he's going to be kind of jealous that I'm already doing this without him. But I got off of work early, which is a sweet treat because I never get off early. And I'm not used to sitting around. I love to be productive. And so I had to get off the couch and come do something. Really, I didn't get, even get onto the couch. I got off of work and came straight here.